How's it going YouTube? This is Robert. YouTube is a big on you. Today I'm going to walk through a couple of basic things using your iPhone or iPod. This will work for any op iPod, Apple, or Apple device such as the iPad also. And the things that we're going to do, we're going to do uh, authorizing your um, iPod or iPhone. And we're going to also, I'm going to show you just a really simple way uh, for transferring music and managing music yourself manually using um, the iTunes. So let's begin. Alright, gonna be a tad bit difficult using um one hand here, but alright, first I'm gonna start by this is my iPhone. If you got a password or anything like that on it, make sure you um remove the password. And so, so for instance, if it's locked like mine is right now, you need to unlock it and put in your password to remove it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you have it. Mine is unlocked now. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my computer. I have an extension cable here, but um, this runs directly into my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Very easy. So as you can see in here, my computer is actually recognizing my um, iPod iPhone that is so and usually a menu or so pop up and it asks me what I want to do as you see there and I am not gonna bother with this particular menu so I'm gonna just go ahead and close out of that and what I am gonna do is I'm gonna open up iTunes so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on iTunes and boom there's iTunes open okay so first and foremost um, there's my iPhone Phone right there as you can see highlighted there so first and foremost I'm gonna show you how to authorize or deauthorize you need to go in to the advanced menu and down to where it says deauthorize so from there you put in your Apple ID as so and then you put in your password as so and what's gonna end up happening is and I don't need to do it, but what's going to end up happening is it's going to either authorize or deauthorize it. And simple as that. Now you just um, authorize for this particular computer or your particular computer. And you get up to five computers to authorize the device on. So if you get rid of a computer, you need to make sure you deauthorize it. And again, very simple. Open up iTunes, go to advanced menu, and de deauthorize um, Audible account, as you see right there and it just enter your um, password and your um, op ID which is the same that you use for the um, app store on your phone so I'm gonna go ahead and close that out now I'm gonna show you what you need to do to manually manage your music so I selected my iPhone as you see there just selected it and then I'm up into the summary menu as you see there so I'm going to scroll down the summary menu here. I'm just going to click anywhere on here and then just scroll down or you could grab it by the bar here on the side. And I am just want to put a basic check in here. So I'm going to check manually manage music and videos. I'm going to, and from there, click on sync or apply. And let iTunes do its thing. And from there, you should have the apply menu actually. And I'm good to go. So now I have have it to where I can manually manage my music, my movies, or TV shows. Right now I'm just gonna do music. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on music. Let me see if I can do this here better. Okay, so from start from the basics. Go ahead and click on start. Go ahead and click on music, and the window will open up. As you see there, there's my, all my music. And I'm just going to move one window to the side here. Just grabbed it at the top and hold it down with the left click button to move the window down. And I'm going to move this one right here. Okay. And all I'm going to do, as you can see, is hold down the left click button and I'm 
continuing to hold as you see it's highlighted that's the song that I want and I'm still holding down the left click button and then I'm gonna move the mouse over with that particular song and as you see it's moving over and then I'm gonna drop and how I drop it is I, I just remove my finger from the left click mouse button and boom it's gone into um, iTunes that's what local artists pretty good there and so now it's added to my um, iPhone so let's say if you want to do more than one song you could either use the shift key or you could just what I'll do is I'll just hold down the left click button and I'm gonna just move it along here and I'm gonna stop at that one there and then I'm gonna hold down the left click button again and move it over and just drop release the left click button and one of the phone um, songs are not compatible so I'm not gonna worry about that and as you see iTunes are processing it so then from there this is what you usually want to do when you're moving your iPhone iPod or iPad you go here and click the eject button see that little button there that's the eject button so go ahead and click on that and as you see my iPhone disappeared so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my iPhone so here's my iPhone and I'm gonna go to music and where do you know it all the music is on there From the first one the fourth and so on so again very simple just drag it and drop it very easy way to transfer music once you got it in your my um music folder or any folder on your computer for that matter um, really simple video for people I get a lot of requests for basic videos and I get a lot of clicks for basic videos so um, for all those that do know um, a little more about this and better ways to do it you can post it to the board to further help people and if anyone else has a question or anything pertaining to this please um, ask a um, question and post it to the YouTube board and I myself or someone else on the board will be more than happy to help you and hope you enjoyed the video Andrea in particular and this is Robert with YouTube user big on you signing out thank you